So I'm beginning to uh, make the table with the, the mahogany that I bought uh, at Erie in, uh, a couple of weeks ago. So here's a piece of 12 quarter that's uh, 8 foot long and uh, 10 inches, a uh, little more than 10 inches wide. So I should be able to get three, uh, three legs from uh, each of the pieces. So uh, I'm going to cut it out, or rip them uh, on the bandsaw, and uh, we'll see how we do it. I've allowed an extra two inches for the knee blocks. Cutting the three inch uh, leg blanks. I traced the leg pattern from the uh, full-size drawing that I had made onto a piece of uh, cardboard here and now I've got to uh, cut it out so that I have the template for the other leg uh, which has a turn bottom on it. Well I cut out the uh, cardboard template for the other leg and uh, of course the length and the curve are identical to the uh, carved leg, the uh, ball and claw foot but uh, this, the back ones have a pad foot here that uh, this is seven eighths of an inch there so uh, what I did is uh, like all of them I'm I mortised the uh, the ends while it was square. The, uh, these are the ball and claw ones over here. And uh, so then I turned the, the pad foot here while it was uh, so, some people uh, while it was still square. Some people cut them out and then turn the pad foot. I've uh, always done it this way. So. Uh, that's a two and a half inch and then uh, a two inch uh, pad that's a quarter inch high so uh, they came out all right so now uh, since I traced the pattern then we have to cut it out here on the bandsaw just as we would uh, any other cabriolet leg so that's uh, that's the next step here we have the, the four legs cut out and uh, standing there in the uh, position uh, that they would be in uh, once the table is made. So the next step is to smooth out the, the legs and then carve the feet. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. Well, I've got the uh, first leg just about... Uh, smoothed out here and uh, carved around the pad foot and uh, I'm reasonably happy with the shape and the, and the lines so I'm doing a little scraping right now so I've got this uh, Veritas uh, card scraper and uh, folder Nice job of holding it. I'm taking a fine shaving off of here. There's no carving on these uh, back legs. So I can get them 
pretty much finished, ready to go before I put it together. Take out all the bumps. I wish I was a better bandsaw. A lot of uh, a lot of work to get them cleaned up and, uh, and smoothed over. Uh, I've got three more to go. Well, I have one completed here, so it's uh, reasonably smooth and uh, and shaped uh, pretty well, and uh, squared off the ends. And I've started on the uh, the second one here. Carving the bottom, so uh, they're coming along. I uh, made the template for the uh, side and cut out a uh, test side of when I made the prototype. I had uh, made it straight back here uh, after this curve, and this is the uh, right side of the the table, and uh, so I. Did didn't realize until I was shaping the leg that uh, the actual shape, uh, because you have to allow for the knee block, the, the leg is here, um, and um, so the knee block comes back here and then you have to have some transition into the end. So this is the uh, actual pattern that I'll use. Um, but anyway, it's a good thing I caught it now before I started cutting out the sides.